Voices Against Corruption. Let the people speak. Hello and welcome to Primark's public feedback series on corruption called Voices Against Corruption. And we ask, how much do you trust the judiciary to resolve the post-2023 presidential elections dispute credibly? I doubt. But I pray to God to change their, their mind. If not, <laughs> judiciary, I don't know how to describe them. If not, other nation, judiciary, there's more confidence in them. But our own here, I don't have confidence. But I pray maybe they'll change this time around. Many people do not really have the faith in the, in the, in the courts that we have. But if they want to do, if they really want to be fair, if they really want to uh, give the right judgment, they can. They can. I have a problem with trusting a Nigerian government. That is just my own. Normally, if they have culture, they're supposed to resolve the election or whatever. So I don't know, but Nigerian government, sometimes they fail. Oh, so I have issue trusting that because that is how we trusted that in like, during the election that they will, you know, do everything normally. But the letter did what was in their mind. So I have issue trusting the Nigeria government. That is just my problem. The reason why we have courts in the Nigeria is that to settle some dispute regarding to anything that any crisis that might, might that might have come. The election, you know, there are no way there won't be any one thing or the other. That is the reason why everybody has to go to court to, to go and sort it out. That is because we have to believe in our court. We don't believe in our court, which means there's going to be a rank in this city. So we have to believe in whatever the outcome of the election, whatever be the outcome from the court, because the Supreme Court is the, is the highest court on the ground. So we believe in it, and then we believe, whoever that believe in Nigeria has to believe in the Nigerian court. The judicial system, although I would have uh, said I trust them like... 80%, but as it stands now, I cannot, I cannot even give them, I cannot give them 30%. Yes, I cannot. Because of the recent happenings, there are some people who are above the laws. Uh, we have never had post-election disputes settled well in, uh, in our law courts. We either had them, you know, give their judgment on one side. For example, the case in Imo State, you can, you know, you all know what happened in Imo State. So we, that, that has made a lot of us, a lot of us who have lost confidence in the judiciary. But I think this is an opportunity for them to uh, restore back their integrity and their respect on this particular uh, post-election uh, reason. I think if they can be sincere to Nigerians, uh, we will have hope and trust in them again. Well, uh, in the time past, uh, the judiciary has actually not uh, lived up to expectations. But uh, we believe that this, has an, this is another opportunity for them to redeem their image. Right now, since, as I speak to you, there are so many things that issues that are still on ground that make Nigerians uh, difficult to trust the system. For instance, we've now observed that from this election, we observe that anybody, uh, once the the returning officer has called for break and return later. It means there's something that has happened with, between that, 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 during that break time. So it is difficult for us to say we are going to trust anybody. Concerning the post-election uh, problem, so many people have gone to court. Considering the antecedent of the judiciary, recently in Nigeria, I don't think uh, something good will come out of it. But it's only if God touches their heart, the judge whoever that is, is concerned in handling the issue. That is the only way something positive could come out of it. So how can anyone trust with what has happened in the presidential? If I'm not even talking about the gubernatorial, because the presidential has given everybody doubt that nothing good is going to come out of it because of what has been happening in the judiciary. Think of it. Now, the judiciary, they are there in the offices. They were not in the field. They didn't know the extent INEC did what they did. So how are they going to give you a judgment that will be favorable? Primark's public feedback on corruption in Nigeria is produced with support from Makato Foundation.